this is gonna start, uh, I don't know, I lost count of the days, but we're in Prince Rupert, okay? <laughs> this is gonna start the vlog of Prince Rupert. I am going out and I'm going to take the crew, some of the crew out, uh, the Tucson band, uh, in my opinion, one of the best bands here on the Carnival Miracle. I'm going to take them out for a few drinks. Uh, it is their day off, so luckily they get to spend a little time with me. I get to know them a little bit better. And uh, I will ask if I can uh, record some questions and have you guys get to know the Tucson band just a little bit better with their permission. Uh, but otherwise, I'm gonna show you what is out in Prince Rupert and, uh, and what we're doing. So come along and uh, spend the day in Prince Rupert with me. Prince Rupert, Canada, that is. We're not in Alaska anymore. It's like the Alaskan Canada, eh? Tucson Band, cheers! Yes! These are memories you don't get out with anybody else. Tucson Band! The best band on the Carnival Miracle. Yes, yes. of the Tucson band yes. and I got to spend Thanks. some time with these guys they are amazing and I am gonna bring you actually an up-close personal kind of interview I'm gonna ask each one of these guys a question later on today but it's their guys day off so I'm gonna let them go and enjoy their day off tomorrow I am going to bring you a little b-roll of them performing because these guys are all amazing and I'm also gonna ask each one of these guys a question and, uh, and you guys are going to get to know the Tucson Band like I got to know the Tucson Band. So, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It was such a fun time. Uh, you guys are amazing. And these guys now are not even crew anymore. These guys are friends now. So, thank you, guys. Enjoy your day off. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow in the Red Frog Pub. Thanks, guys. I have another set for you, and I think it's going to be a counter set. Yes. yes. Yeah? Definitely. All right, let's go with that. Let's counter it. I was going to bring you behind the scenes with the Tucson band. So I am here with Franco, my name, the uh, drummer from the Tucson band. Yes. So I'm going to ask you a simple question so everybody can get to know just a little bit more about you, like I did. So, Franco, what inspires you most about music and performing? Oh, that's a great question, man. So, about music, what can I say? About music, music is, is life, music is everywhere, you know? Music is to communicate. I I try to communicate through my instrument, to, through the drums, like, it's actually difficult, you know, hearing stuff, but I try to put uh, every everything, every feeling that is in me on the drums to communicate, to try to get to the people, you know? And performing on stage, um, you know, I when I'm on stage, I feel like I, I can be free, man. I can be free. I can do whatever I want. I can. I can become crazy. I can. I can slow down. And everyone. I mean, everyone is watching me. Watch. But everyone is is feeling what I'm feeling. What the, the music is feeling. You know. So that's impresses me the most. The about playing on stage. The, about is that I can be my own, like crazy, like whatever I want. And it's okay because yes. that 
that is that is the thing. You know? Yes, it is. That and is if anybody has watched you, this crew, we can definitely tell yeah. that your passion runs through those drums, my friend. Thank so you. I have had such an amazing time watching all of you guys perform, getting to know you guys just a little bit. I know I took you guys out, and now we are we are friends for life. Yeah. So this guy is best forever. You know? <laughs> so look forward to uh, to more cruises with you. Yeah, of course, look bro. forward to more conversations, and uh, thank you for spending just a minute with me. Bro. No, of course. I Thanks, buddy. <laughs> all right, guys. So yeah. I am here with Jose. Jose from the Jason's Band. Jason's Band, lead guitar. Lead guitarist and guitar. Take on lead singer. Second lead singer. And I am bringing that up close and personal interview. So, Jose, I have an important question for you. Yes. Who inspired you in music the most? Well, that's a that's a tough question because I have so many idols in music. But I would say uh, mainly I have two like big. Okay. One is Bowie. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I miss him so much. Oh, yeah. I'm really terrible to see The other one is Prince. Those are the two main ones. Two main role models. And uh, and I mean, honestly, I can see a little bit of that David Bowie when you play. I can see the passion go through, man. And I mean, when you get your solos, you just block it out. Thanks. I have enjoyed this 11 days of watching you perform and uh, getting to know you. Of course, And now, we're not just crew and guests, you know, we're, we're friends for life, my friend. Of course. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Oh, so I am here with the ever so talented Juan. And you are the. I'm the pianist, the keyboardist from the band, the band of Disco. So talented. So, thank you. I am only gonna steal a minute from him, but I have a, kind of a two-part question for you. Yeah. So, do you prefer working on land or at sea? Do you want the short answer or the, yeah. or the long answer? Or whatever answer. Because the, yeah. it's like, it's hard to compare because it's so different, okay. you know? Okay. It's like, every every side has its ups and downs. Of course, so, of course. For example, like, like the best thing that I can picture about the comparison is that here we we are like working, and it's not like in land we don't work playing, but maybe in on land we choose more personal songs to play. Okay. And here we're more commercial. Huh? But it's not that we don't like because we love this music. Of course. But for example, here I can play like heavy metal or some other specific genres that I like. Understood. But I obviously enjoy this play too. So it's like that kind of the big comparison about boats okay. will be that. Okay, so uh, on land you can play more of the songs that you would like to play because you have more uh, more free range. On yeah, it. we are more like in our neighborhood. You know, that's kind of it. Gotcha. And then a, the second part question, since you are now working on a cruise ship, yeah. what is your favorite thing about working on a cruise ship? I think the favorite thing, of at least what I am doing, taking most of it in the cruise, is the free food. And I can I can lie to you, man. That's the best part because I I like to mix it with free gym. Okay. So gym and free food is a really good combination. It's really good for our health. Yeah. And then that I mean, when we come from mm -hmm. from Latin America, from Argentina, it's things are pretty hard okay. over there to pay for things, to pay the bills, to work. So here we're really blessed. You know, so I really taking good care of this job and this place and this whole life experience because it's a really complete package that I'm really enjoying. It. That's amazing. Such a great answer. Oh, and uh, and again, the Tucson band, such an amazing band. And thank you. Uh, all right, guys, I am here with the so ever talented Tomas, Tomas the bass player for the Tucson band. And uh, I know you just had played an entire three sets for us, so I'm only going to steal a minute from you because I know you're tired. But okay. I have a very important question for you. You can have it right here. Uh, or who got you started playing the bass guitar? Well, actually, like many modern bass players, it was Flea from the Red Hot Chili Pepper. I was, yeah, <laughs> I had already, I had already been playing guitar for two years. Okay. Which I started because of my family, my uncles, and my cousins, okay. and my father. And uh, one day I was in my kitchen listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, like, hey, say, listen to that bass. I was telling my mother. Yeah. And she said, why don't you, why don't you get a bass and start playing bass? And, and yeah, that's, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.